Hi, friends. How you doing? All right, I'm going to move this up here for now. I don't think I can. I can. Okay, here we go. Yes, yes, this is working. Okay, better, much better. <laughs> All right, it is time for my, hi, Rory. No. Uh, <laughs> it is time for my mid-month uh, budget update for March. Now, it's the 20th. So um, the majority of the month has passed. Uh, it's a little late, but you also end up getting the end of the month things five to ten days late. Anyway, we should, should not talk about it. Um, so this is kind of the middle of the month. Now I have paid most of my bills already, so I'm just gonna kind of get you through them. Alrighty, let's see. Okay, savings has all been regular. Rent is regular. Car insurance, actually. All right, um, health insurance, everything. Um, let's see the things that change. Electrical was only $28.30 this month. Uh, water, or out of 42, uh, water was right on the mark with 83 cents left in the budget. And gas was uh, $3.50 under. So I'm, I'm, it's, I'm thinking I've pretty much got these down, finally. Finally, after eight months in MENA. All righty. Long care still sinking funded, but I have um, some new neighbors moved in next door and they have some teenage kids. And I mentioned to them like, hey, I noticed you were mowing your lawn the other day. Um, is there any way I could like barter or pay you guys to do mine too? And they were like, the teenagers can. They're always looking for um, ways to earn a little bit of extra money. So I might be able to save on that soon. Um, I'm excited about this prospect. So I will get back to you on that. But yes, having kids next door do it. And this is one of those things where you just have to know people. I mean, you can't just go up to a random person's house and be like, hi, do you have children? And will they do manual labor for me? Um, I mean, you could, but that's how you get the police called on you. Just saying. Alrighty. So now here's, here's the bad. I did, I did the bad stuff. All right. I'm going to move you guys for just a second. Okay, so you see this groceries column that that's totaled out to two hundred and six dollars and seventy one cents, which is already six dollars and seventy one cents over. Well, this didn't include groceries for the last week of the month, which you saw in uh, Monday's video. Um, I spent thirty six dollars at Walmart and six dollars at um, the Dollar Tree, and I haven't inputted those exact numbers yet. But as you can see, I'm over, like way over. Um, I'm still getting used to this new diet, uh, low carb, no sugar, and um, I'm just trying, okay? I, I will figure this out. I will whittle it down. It just sometimes it takes a second, and I'm, and I'm hesitant to bring my grocery budget up because then I might like settle into that number. And also any, any money that I bring it up has to come from debt. So it's essentially... If I raised it by 50 bucks, I'd be saying, I want $50 worth of groceries, or I want to be able to spend $50 on groceries more than I want to get out of debt. And it just, those don't really compare to me. Instead, I should spend more time and work more on meal planning better, price matching better, and uh, getting my grocery budget back down. So I know I can do it on 200. No, I can. All righty. All of my sinking funds are normal. Um, let's see. And here's the only good thing. I haven't spent any restaurant money this month yet. And I haven't spent any money on gas. Because I loaded my Walmart gas card in like January. And I still, I still haven't run out of the money I budgeted. So I a little bit over budgeted how much gas I would use in Mina. It's, it's a very small amount. That's all I do. And uh, so right now that gas money has been going to car sinking fund, repair fund, Whatever, gas overflow fund um, and restaurant money <laughs> is will just go to my groceries because that's food. It makes sense for them to kind of go with each other. And I'm very glad I haven't done, excuse me, any restauranting this month. Not that I am ever tempted to eat out in Mina. <laughs> there are like three restaurants. That's it. Um, so I'm just, I'm just not tempted here. I would be if I actually left town, but I don't leave town. So restaurant and gas both haven't spent 
anybody on them yet. <laughs> I have spent a little bit of my personal money. I got some new like little undershirt tank toppy things. Um, the ones that I had been using were really gross. <laughs> I should admit that. But they were, you know, I'd, and they were all mismatchy. I gathered them on sale. I have a very long torso. It's hard to find them the right length that aren't ridiculously long or too short. And I like to, I like to stay modest. So I went ahead and I bought six tank tops, three white, two black, and one nude um, from Walmart. It was $25. I'm totally fine with that price. I wish I'd been able to find them on sale. But I ended up ordering them from Walmart.com. They were like $3.88 each. Um, now, I like investing in clothes. I do. I like getting really high-quality clothes on sale. However, there are a few things that I just don't care for them to be the best quality. Tank tops is one of them. As long as they, you know, they fit right and they look nice, um, I'm okay with these only lasting for a year or two. So I'm not going to spend $10, $15 on a tank top when I can get one for $3.88 that's just going to go under my clothes and it's going to be fine. Um, so I actually really like the way these fit. They're, they're fine. They don't stretch out. All that jazz is the right length. And I'm very happy with that purchase. All right. I spent $5.46 um, sending some mail to a budget friend. Um, it was a little thank you gift. And um, Walmart 301 pants. Okay. Oh, I got some workout pants. Like the pants that you work out in. Like the they're they're a little stretchy and they're oh, they're like the workout pants. I don't need to explain this. <laughs> I don't know why I am. Anyway, I got some pants. Um and then for my best friend's birthday I spent twenty one dollars and thirty four cents sending her a really, really cute workout tank top that said beast mode on it and then it had like a little button that said beast mode on now she takes uh muay thai which is the most badass of martial arts and i and she's like this tiny tiny little thing jamie you guys have seen her in other videos like from way way back in the day and yeah she's i just thought it would look adorable on her and so i kind of snuck around with her husband a little bit. That sounded bad. That is not what I meant. Um, I, I got him to figure out what shirt size she needed. And he helped me pick out a shirt. There were a bunch that I was thinking of. And he helped me narrow it down. And um, we kept this from her. <laughs> and she got it on her birthday. So I was, I was very happy to do that. And I've answered questions before on this. Um, how do you do gifts for birthdays? weddings, stuff that comes up throughout the year, I take out of my personal spending. Um, I, I think it's appropriate if, uh, yeah, I just think it's appropriate for Christmas. However, I have a sinking fund because that's, you're giving to a lot of people all at once. You have to prepare for that. Um, however, birthdays and anniversaries and stuff like that, it's, it's, it's a little bit more sporadic. So, and you know, if a wedding is coming up, you can set aside a little bit of money a couple of months ahead of time to have the money to pay for that. I know when Jamie's birthday is, I can set aside money for it. It was only $20. I decided to just take it out of my personal spending. And this is what I usually do. So, uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I spent normal, uh, money on Rory and I got, um, you know, I have not put in my gas reimbursement on their check. This is a good reminder for me to do that. All right. And then down here, I got my YouTube payment today and I made $310.69 on the YouTubes this uh, past month. Thank you all very much for watching and liking and sharing because that helps me pay off my debt by doing this. Um, and I've decided to set aside 25% of that for taxes at the end of the year because they don't take taxes out. So that means I get to put $233.02 to debt. So um, all of the numbers are not in yet since this is only a mid-month report, but I have paid all my bills. So, and I've done my grocery shopping for the last week of the month. Um, so it's probably not going to change that much other than I need to go through and double check with my bank account that I haven't missed, um, haven't not put anything in here or anything like that. And also something you could always come up within the next 10 days. So 
Um, let me know how you guys are doing on your budget this month. Um, and hopefully it's going to be a really good month other than that whole grocery snafu. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.